Hi, my name is William Beebe, and I'm a senior New Media Arts major here at UNT. Today, I would like to present my work and my artistic approach with some of the projects I have made throughout my undergraduate career. As a New Media Arts major, my primary artistic medium is digital media such as video, digital photography, creative coding, and animation. While I mostly work in the digital space, I appreciate the physicality within traditional art making and try to incorporate that into some of my works. My favorite traditional forms include basketry and printmaking, of which both of my works utilizing these practices were recognized by CVED on their social media. When it comes to making my works, I am very detail-oriented. My process from start to finish is methodical and organized, which is reflected through my work and noted by my peers. My process begins in a way that seems like I'm putting the cart before the horse. I start with a mental image of how I want my piece to look when it's finished, and as I work, I tie to a concept that works best with the project. I develop the work and the concept together, allowing things to change, so there is room for me to experiment and room for my project to grow. As the project is growing, I am researching the concept that I am working with. My research gives me a better understanding of what message I want to tell through my art. It involves me referencing media such as articles and videos, exploring the topics I am curious about, and looking at how other artists, both in and outside of new media, make art around similar topics. Once the project has reached a final point, I ask my friends and peers for critique on how I can further develop the work and make it the best that it can be. Then I go back and refine the smaller details and double check that the message I am telling through my art is conveyed successfully. Continuing to talk about my process, I want to transition to the media that I use. My preferred medium depends on the project I assign myself. If the project requires creative coding, I prefer to use touch design. Touch design is a node-based software that allows me to easily connect geometry, texture, audio, and video output nodes together to create an animation where 3D objects can react to music, such as this one. The software is easy for me to understand and allows me to code in real time, meaning I can view the changes I make to the animation as I work on each individual node. When working with photography, I use Adobe Photoshop to edit and manipulate photos and make collages like these images. I also use Photoshop to make digital drawings like these. Photoshop is an easy program that I used before college. My favorite aspect of Photoshop is being able to layer images and shapes on top of each other to create an image or scene that has a lot of depth to it. The layers allow me to manipulate specific parts of the image without messing up other parts. Outside of the digital space, my preferred method of art making is basketry, specifically using coiling technique. Coiling basketry is a relaxing process of repeated motions that allows me to work with my hands, something I don't get when working in the digital space. When working with basketry, I like to use vibrant and colorful yarn to make my baskets, and I like to experiment with the shape and form of my projects. Coiling gives me the most freedom with basketry as the materials can bend, twist, and curl in many ways, allowing interesting shapes. When working with this process, I like to keep in mind that the viewer's eyes will often follow the coil around, so adding interesting shapes and unexpected turns makes the baskets more active. In regard to the concepts and meanings behind my work, I focus on relationships between people, technology, and nature. Sometimes the works will explore just people in nature or just people in technology, while other times the works will explore nature and technology. As someone who works in the digital space but appreciates the natural world and the people around me, these concepts are personal and allow me to express myself truthfully. A concept I have been working with this semester is centered on the impact that unregulated technology can have on youth, especially when it is being used to deliver news of a traumatic event. The project is not yet complete, but it is nearing the final stages and it will be ready for a final exhibition at the end of the semester. Another concept that I explored was preservation of nature through its digitization. For this concept, I made a wooden cutout of a tree with an image of leaves projected on the foliage of the cutout. In front of it, I placed two television sets that displayed a spinning ball with mini screens that showed animated GIFs of flowers blooming. The project served to show how we could preserve nature through video capture and digital photography and present it artistically to a younger audience. With these concepts, I want to express messages of improving relationships between technology, people, and nature, whether that's showing how digital imaging can document nature or how being tied to screens can hold us back from being our best selves. In conclusion, my journey as a new media art major at UNT has been defined by a passion for blending digital innovation with traditional art making. Through meticulous attention to detail in a methodical creative process, I strive to convey meaningful messages about the interconnectedness of people, technology, and nature in my work. 
Whether experimenting with creative coding and digital photography or exploring the tactile artistry of basketry, I aim to create pieces that provoke thought and dialogue. Thank you for letting me give you a glimpse at my artistic process, and I look forward to sharing more with you as I continue making art.